Hi, my name is Marisha, and this is quite an unappealing light. I've realised that I find making videos quite stressful when I'm trying to do my makeup at the same time. So while I'm really into doing makeup and all the videos I'm watching pretty much are about makeup, I'm going to have to figure out a new way to do it, a way that doesn't involve me doing the makeup while I'm videoing, because at the moment that's just not working. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something new. Uh, let's have a little chat first, and I'll go and do some makeup and come back. Are, aren't eyebrows weird at the moment? Is it is it just me? It seems to me that a lot of the people I see, there's this really weird eyebrow concept going on where every single strand has to be like pointing up in a very specific, like, matched way. And I don't know, I just, I, I feel like eyebrows have gone very strange at the moment. And it's not a look that I'm quite frankly capable of reproducing um i also do not want to reproduce i think when you're as pale as i am um if you try and create that kind of eyebrow you're really fighting against your own face to to do it today has been stressful for no reason in particular my phone just made a really loud noise it's probably on the video now sorry um I don't know, I've just been really stressed today. I had, I had stressful dreams. I dreamt about a house full of spiders and I dreamt that my dog had run away in the city and I didn't know where he was. And I sometimes think if I, when I have really stressful dreams, when I wake up, I'm just not as rested as I was. And that kind of carries on to the rest of the day. I've just finished watching a Robert Welsh video, which is always enjoyable. Um, there's just something, there's something nice, pleasing about those videos. I'm gonna go, and this is my, this is my daytime makeup. Um, as I said, this lighting is is pretty horrendous, so this doesn't look great. Um, but I'm gonna do something more evening like, just for a laugh, and then I'm gonna wash it all off once I'm done. So I'm gonna go and see what I'm gonna do. Hi there. So I've done my eye makeup and I've stuck with what I had before. So if I come in close here, it's the same basic eyeshadow as I had for work. I've just taken the Odin's Eye Alva palette, which is this one. Um, here's the colors. This is a really nice light colored palette for light colored skin. Um, I have deepened this here. I've taken a dark blue eyeliner and added a really big flick. I put a little bit more shimmer on, a little bit more blue under the eye. And I've done my eyebrows. And I was talking about eyebrows earlier. Um, so I have done my eyebrows with a MAC brow pencil. And then I've gone over it with a clear brow gel. And I have combed them up slightly. Um, but I have not done anything more than that. Eyebrows are tricky when you're blonde. They, they just really are. And I mean proper, like, silly blonde, like I am. Almost everything is too orange. You almost need a, a very grey-toned eyebrow pencil. No matter what colour, whether you're going dark or light, it needs to be really cool. Um, and very few of them are, I find. Now this is the, the eyeliner that I used, is the Gosh, this Gosh eyeliner. I have no idea, my makeup collection is such a random pile of stuff. There's the odd thing that I've had for ages, um, but not a lot, because a lot of my makeup was very old. And then I've been buying a mixture of random secondhand eBay stuff, and the odd new thing that's either been a really good deal, or I've just really, really um, this, I don't even know where I found it. Like it was probably on sale somewhere and I got it when I was getting some other stuff. Um, I'm not great with eyeliner. I have just bought, I have just bought one of the Colourpop bundles. Look at this. Yeah. I have two, this is two of the Colourpop bundles together. Um, it's a really good deal and they're quite often out of stock. So when they came into stock, I, I went for it. Um, I used the Aqua one. 
under my eye here, on the inner eye line. My phone is making noises again. I really ought to put it on mute when I'm making videos. Um, I've sparkled a little bit more on here. I've upped the highlighter. I haven't done any blush yet. I've got an Illamasqua blush that I keep coming back to. And again, this is something I didn't actually buy it by it. It came in a bundle of stuff from eBay, um, bundle of used makeup. And it's this, this one, it's called Powder Blusher Excite. And it's just a really nice warm color. Why can I not open, but seriously, there we go. There we go, it's open, there we are. It's just this really nice warm color. Um, and I'm going to put a bit of that on. Yeah, I have to look at my proper mirror. If I look at the phone, I get confused because of the delay. I just, I don't know whether it's that I'm just not technical anymore because I used to be super technical when I was younger. I was right up there ahead of everybody else. And then I kind of fell behind the older I got. Um, but I think also I tend to use quite old technology because I don't want to buy the newest, most expensive thing. Uh, uh, so I'm all, often trying to kind of play catch up with things that don't work quite as well as the stuff that other people are using. But I do love this blush of colour. I think it's really nice. I have not put any foundation on hardly at all. I've put a tiny little bit here and here. And a tiny little bit here and here. And I've put a little bit of, ah, here it is. This um, Olay Eyes Illuminating Cream that I picked up the other day because it was a good, it was, it was a good deal. Um, and I've put that just under my eyes. But other than that, I'm wearing no foundation at all. And that's, that's almost always going to be the case for me. I can't stand being layered and layered and layered in makeup. I just don't like it. Um, I also don't think I'm terribly good at doing it, so I'll, I'm not sure that the effect is that great. And I have good skin, and, I, and I, it's great to take advantage of that. I don't mind that it's not perfect, but it is more than good enough to get away with not putting on uh, layers and layers of foundation and powder. And if you're, if if you're watching all these videos with all these people who coat their face and coat their face, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If you enjoy doing it, absolutely. Um, but don't feel you have to do that. Don't feel you have to do that. Let's see what lipstick I'm going to add. Okay, I've put my lipstick on. Um, I would love to go and sit on my sofa and finish this video off there, but the lighting there was appalling. Um... So I thought I'd go with Colourpop. I don't have a lot of Colourpop lipsticks, although I have a lot of Colourpop lip liners, which I bought in, in a bulk lot from eBay. Um, this is the Lippy Pencil Control and the Lippy Stick. Taurus. Taurus. Uh, very brown. Uh, I thought that would match in nicely with the top section of the eyeshadow. And I, I said I just thought it'd be nice to use something from Colourpop. Um, What do I think? I like, I mean, I like, I like this. I think this has worked out quite nicely. I'd wear it out. I am admittedly not going to wear it out. I'm going to have a bath and wash it all off because I have work tomorrow. Um, it's a funny thing, this makeup thing. That I, not that, not in general, but that, that I'm doing personally. Um, and it all comes from lockdown and just not being able to go and hang out with my friends the same way I used to do, because most of my friends are in London. I live in Scotland. I moved back up here about three, four years ago. Um, but I lived in London for 15 years before that, and I made a lot of really, really good friends down there. Um, and normally I travel down to see them quite a lot. The only reason I moved back up here is because London housing prices are just horrific. Um, and it's nice. It's nice to be in Scotland. I like Scotland, but I would very much like all my friends to move to Scotland too. That would also be good. So when I started this, it was an output. I can hear someone moving in the hallways. I really hate the idea that people are no one listening to. I don't even link these videos from my Facebook. 
I don't know, there's a, there's a strange self-consciousness. Um, I want to put material out there, I want to talk to people, but I want to talk to the people I know in person. And now I want to talk to strangers on here. Um, partly, I think, because all the friends that I've made over the years um, come from a variety of different interests, but none of them come from this kind of very girly makeup look kind of thing. I don't have a lot of friends that are into that. So it, this, what I'm doing now appeals outside of that, that range of people. Um, It almost appeals outside my own range of interests. It's something so different what, from what I would normally do. And I think that's why I like it. I wanted to do something that was really, really different from what I normally do. Anyway, I have babbled on for long enough. I'll go and take some photos of this for Instagram and then I'm going to have a bath. Bye. <laughs>